Uh, John, here again. It's Sunday, the 31st of July, 2016. I'm just calling my friend Dick Carlson in Port Rowanui or Rotori and a little chat. I want to see if he's um, got my Marae book. here. I sent some, um, huh? Alright, good. I sent some things in the email to give you an idea of what, what the um, who is about. Uh, so you'll find it'll, it'll, it, it, it'll take me the day to do it. Normally it takes longer than that, but um, <clears throat> you'll see, you'll see uh, what's in it. And um, um, that 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 should um, be something, at least to uh, for the for the marae to look at, because I want to make sure um, uh, to let the Maori Land Court know. We're trying to take the the control back to the marae and off the Maori Land Court. Uh, I mean the the tumutumu, more so. Um, uh, work with them, but let them know where where the authority lies there. That's how I work. I only work from the marae, you see. Not not anywhere else here. So um, is your wife a eh, doing it, eh? On the marae, yes. Yeah, so she can go right over. There's quite a few things in it, but um, it doesn't take me long to skip over all the rest of it. For the morning part, it's just for the, the local people and the marae to ask questions. What am I doing there? What 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 am I what am I coming there for? Um, and then the Maryland court gets a better. I go straight into the Maryland court and and sort them out to to quicken it up. Then then to uh, wait around for Tumutumu is okay, but um, I just want to um, fit it in with with Waitangi Marae up there with John Key and his Navy coming over in November they're coming for martial law you see I'm frightened that they will they will um, he'll let them in and we can't do anything about it especially especially uh, when they know we got nothing to go on uh, and John Key's just playing around with us and see he ignored the Taumata on uh, of of Ngāti Whātua in Auckland and Kingi Taurua up in Waitangi and went straight ahead with the TPPA and never never bothered to get their consent. That's one thing that they've got against them and that's the thing that worries me with the sea. While we have to jam a flag up, that flag will take us straight to Britain which is opened up for us now with, uh, with uh, the political side so that that's what I handle that side. You see, I just leave everything in place and bugger off to Westminster to jam the flag up back to Waitangi, Marae. Then all the other Marae's will follow suit and do their own thing and try to get some measure of control back into the hapu. Mm. It's good for everybody because they can see it online. I've got everything that everybody's watching and my barrister's back on on the 4th of next month. He's been away for a while because I'm doing Cook Street. That's 2.5 billion, that probably. I'm teasing it. Once I get that geared off, machine anything after that. But I've got the police on the ropes in, in Auckland. And uh, um, over that one title then that I've been chasing for a long time. But once I get that, I use the power note on them then. And, and uh, that gets us financially going straight off the mark down there. 
and we can do what we what we want with the land to develop it. And and that's the, you know that's we can go on any piece of land and just I'll just write the power note out. That's how it's working. And the shares in the tidal turbines on the Rampilly Bank is just the first of 60 going right through the Pacific once we get that flag up at Waitangi on the treaty ground. It's there, but <coughs> we want to put up the stay up, up the top. But that just sets us off politically uh, to, um, to trade with the rest of the world. Uh, what we what we what we'll get something out of and hold John Key to it, you know, like we leave them there to run the place, but we can we can compete on on trade. Yeah, we got more more going for us on trade with the flag. With that flag is a trade flag, bank flag too. And so I've been using it, and those Napoli fellows are starting to wake up. What the hell the flag was about? I'm just showing them, well, if you don't use it, I'll use it, see? <coughs> so, um, um, let, it, let me know, because um, I'm supposed to give 21-day notice to the uh, landowners. I don't know, I've got to see who's coming in and, and, and before they all turn up. Oh, shit. Oh, Dick, the phone went off. Um, I'll just leave it at that for now. I'll just wait till you get back to me, eh? Okay, cheers. Well, uh, the phone went dead. He must have ran out of battery. He must have ran out of battery with mine's all right. Um, so I'll just... Um, Trying to get the marae set up um, because if I can't get the marae, then the point of the exercise is slowed up. Um, um, and I can't do much with that because I would have to um, wait to see what they do or just leave it at that and wait for the time to arrive for Tutumatumi. It's, it's something that is very difficult for people to comprehend what this flag and the threat is of um, any, any takeover of this land. It'll be taken over if we do nothing about it. That's what I'm literally saying. That um, if Maori don't wake up to the fact that um, there's other people stronger and bigger than us that are wanting to take this country over in the lands, and then we're left with nothing. Um, so that can happen. And if I get caught in that lock, they'll buy me out. And at the end of that lock, that the tidal turbines will go offshore, if I can't get through to the marae there, I'll have to just go back to Rangitukia and, and try to... Um, well, no, I'll go to Te Kapa Marae. If I can't get onto that marae, they should have let me know by now. Uh, so I might have to, if you can't get the marae for me, then I'm not sure what's happening there. I'll ring up the other marae tomorrow, I think. Um, I need to get into one marae and set up the business straight off um, before it's too late. Uh, so, Dick, watching this video, I just want to let you know that I'm waiting to have a hui on your marae, but uh, I'm going to try the other one. Um, at Tick up and see if I have any luck there. I don't want to sidestep you and ring the Te Horo Marae because I'm telling everybody there's a hui going on there, but that's 
up to the Marae to say there isn't a hui going on there. I'm just saying I haven't got time um, left to make any decisions for any thing to do with land um, if I can't get through on the Marae just to have a hui for the locals. Well, I'm trying. Um, but um, um, I'll just have to go along with and wait for Te Tumutumu and then work it out from there if I can't get any joy on the Marae. So, that's nothing to deter us from doing anything. It's just hard to comprehend something as big as this because it's got a big audience around the world watching what's happening here and any bit of land is still the same piece of land title that the British put on these lands and so that's my concern is land titles and especially the lands that our ancestors are on I'm talking about um, uh, collectively right through the country and not there just for myself I'm just trying to express what I'm thinking and what others think on how to improve our standard of living, quality of life. If our people stay poor, I can see why, is that we can't get on the land because something stops us from doing it. And I've tried for many years to just get on that one piece of land and I'm going to try my hardest uh, to get going on a limited amount of support from at least a marae. I just need one marae in the area to support this stance because there's no other way around title holding commercial land every title on land is commercial under this flag it comes under this flag of every title in this country has been put together through this king no other king that's what I'm trying to tell people you mean duped by John Key and as long as he's there it's going to carry on in that fashion and what I'm doing is trying to make him accountable for mistakes that will cost him and not us. Mistakes that are on our lands and being the use of it for um, other than um, everybody that wants to have a piece of it. That's all I'm saying. There's plenty of land but we just need to make something work on those lands. So um, uh, in saying that, I might have to, Nick, I might have to, because I'm running out of time, to book a marae, um, because that's how I operate. Um, I want to make it clear that that's the authority over lands, is the marae, and who is running the marae, um, especially when it comes to land use and benefits to who and the community and other um, developments or anything happening on the land. I want to get consent for doing what I'm going to do on those lands as soon as I get the funding up and running. We're off. And this flag will take prevailing authority over the commercial side, not the land itself title the commercial side of trade, banking and investment is this way. The land stays where it is and the people on it, but it's the authority of what is taken off it that I'm concerned with. The resources, the natural resources, resources going somewhere other than the benefit of the people. That's all Dick, that's all I want to say. I think your phone might have gone dead um, and I hope it, it uh, uh, you charge it up and let me know because I want to know I don't like hanging in the air 
uh, especially with a lot of work on like this, and people expecting to see something happen with the tidal energy shares on that Grand Fury Bay. And it's everybody's benefit. If we don't use it, we lose it. That's all I'm saying. There's no way anybody's going to stop the juggernaut from doing what they want to do to the land. And the Tumutumu is part of the structure of elite, and that's the part I have concerns about, the hapu missing out on resources. I have the hui's with the hapu's moaning and groaning, and to Nakora, she wants her Maori government, and that's what this flag is. She's been working for years with this flag and hadn't had the support. Although she stopped the treaty claims, the Ngāti Pro treaty claims, she can do that with this flag. She can do anything, and I'm supporting her uh, and Maniapoto, Hapu, to self-government and their land back. She wants her land back, and she wants the Hapu to have better use of it. We're going to the United Nations and to Westminster and, and to the World Court. We're going there, as soon as I get this land clear, we're off. That's already set in place under this flag back in the days of Moi Manukau. I've taken his uh, titles and I'm taking them to the Scottish Land Company in Scotland, the Manukau Land Company, and go right back to these titles here, all those titles down the East Coast, it's the Manukau Land Company titles. That's why I can say as much as I want to say about this flag and any piece of land that has those titles on it, to know who's on it and what's happening to it for who. Okay, thank you very much. That's all I want to say for now. Dick, I'll get back to you again. In the meantime, I'll just have to get my barrister lined up. See you later. Bye.